computer in here is so annoyingly slow. Yeah. My own computer, my work computer, doesn't have that issue because it doesn't have as much stuff on it. So oh yeah, I'm not yeah. Sharing it with my husband, so it's the same amount of it saves space you. Mm -hmm. and he's not on it, so that helps. Yeah. A lot. So the last time we met was May the 25th, okay. so three months ago. Yeah. yeah. So how have you been since then? Busy? busy? Very busy. Yeah, so I was in Utah for college. Oh. Last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. How was that? It was really, really good. Good. Yeah, super, super good. And how was your mental health during the program, the training? Oh. We were so busy. You know, like, yes, I miss my husband and my dog. That's who I am in person. Away from home, right? Yeah, exactly. But there was a woman who lived like five minutes from me, and we would ride each other every day. Oh. So I drove out. Hmm. Well, my husband drove with me, and he flew back, but then I drove back all by myself. I hate driving long distances. You know, I thought I did, too. Yeah. It turns out I'm great at it. You are. So yeah. did you come but drive yourself back? Yeah, I drove home 2,500 miles. Wow, so, good job. Yeah. It's something I've never like done. Four days. Wow. First day, I did fall out. Then my husband's like, mm, we're not going to do that again. No. <laughs> you know, I said so. Yes. Okay. He's so, a little overprotective, which is very sweet. Yeah, so meaning in July, you felt like you were stressed or busy, but busy. productive. But, but the, what we were doing was so valuable. And so useful and we had a cohort of 20 other women and they mm -hmm. both run self-service organizations so we built community really quickly yes and of course when women meet right. here we like, we we, so we, we quarrel quickly <laughs> but build quickly yeah and we didn't we didn't quarrel much no. which <laughs> was interesting because Good. we we disagreed on things obviously yeah right especially when you're talking about uh, educational politics, right? Mm. Yes. But we had really great like ground rules in place and for how we wanted to communicate. And yeah. That helped. That helped. Yeah. Awesome. So um, busy means you you were yeah. productive yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So how do you see or find your med current medications still doing what it's supposed to do? I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that I don't know that I noticed any difference when I take the channel. Mm. Like at all. Then maybe don't take it for some time to see I did if. That and it didn't make a difference. So I started taking it again because it was bothering me that there was a bottle that was just existing. No, don't worry about that. Except that I will not send a script for well, Propranol. Right? Yes, don't, don't send a script. I will not send. Finish it. I will not send a script for Propranol if it's it's not being taken or if yeah, you have no, enough. I don't think it's useful. And it's. To be taken as needed, but if you feel like you're not using it, there's no need sending a script on that. Right, yeah, so I, I can also discontinue it from your list yeah, because I prefer minimum medications than... Same, woo, same. Like yeah. Keep it yes. So I'll discontinue propranol then yeah. um, and then keep the error and you uh, and then the satolipram yeah, or the Lex uh, Selexa. All um, right. I was starting to run low on that. The was, Selexa? Yeah, when I was in Utah. And so I uh, put it in the car. Oh. I was like, I just, you know, I'd rather. Take and it that's more. actually been working really well. Okay. I'm not sure that I've noticed a significant difference between the 10 and the 20. Because we've significantly kind of increased your arrow dose as time yeah. goes on, and you've still been the same as Alexa. Right. Um, so probably things are working out with the increased dose of arrow, probably. Yeah. So. You can maybe keep taking the 15 milligrams of the Selexa to see how yeah. the anxiety goes. Right. If I you mean, don't have to take the 30, we can it, cut it. I don't think the Selexa is impacting your anxiety at all. Yeah. It doesn't seem like it's really working. No. So how is your anxiety level uh, lately? It depends on the day. How the weather is, but right? it's not great. <laughs> it's not great still. No, it's not hmm. great. Um, We've been doing some pretty intense work in therapy, so that's mm. definitely some of it. I yeah. haven't, I've only taken Valium once since I got back to Utah. 
Yeah. It's the beginning of August. So, so that's encouraging. Uh, yes, because you're not taking the diazepam frequently. No, Fair enough. I took it more frequently when I was away. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I was New away environment and, and I had that. no husband and a <laughs> dog, and so like I wasn't sleeping. Yes. And then like we start to work on because part of part of the what Montessori believed was that the spiritual preparation of the teacher was mm-hmm. really important. Yeah. So it is. some of what we were doing was intense work. Do you need some fun? No. Is it hot here? Okay. Okay. So there were some days when we got to lunch and I was like, I would like some Valium to get through the rest of the So day. does that mean your anxiety is normally triggered by situations instead of kind of randomly striking? Like you get nervous, Maybe. triggered. I don't know. I don't know yeah. What yeah, you need to yeah. kind of yeah. figure that out. Yeah. And that can help. And in that case, if you get triggered, maybe speaking in public, meeting. No, speaking in public is fine. Yeah. That's one thing that I can always do. Like, exactly. Throw me up in front of a bunch of people, put me in the pulpit. That's easy. Okay. So, Which is weird for mm-hmm. someone with anxiety. Yes. So if you can maybe start a journal to see no. what probably started or no. what caused it. No. You can't? No, I can't. You, you will not remember. Uh, yeah. Mm. And by the time that I notice that I'm anxious, it's too late for me to figure out why. what happened. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. That's one of the biggest challenges. Yeah. I wish you could kind of figure out what triggers it. I know. Is it maybe stress? I don't know. Working on it. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't really know what we should be targeting. Yeah, right. Yeah. I yeah. I think that increasing the adult. Mm-hmm. Yes, when we moved up from yeah, the twenty to thirty, 30 that is was helping. A significant change. Yeah. Yes, the arrow actually does help decrease anxiety because right. you don't feel too stressed and you are productive. Right. So you don't feel the backlog. And I that... remember what I'm doing. Exactly. Like when I go downstairs to get something in the washing machine, yeah. I actually no. do that. Exactly. And don't. Wandering around the basement wondering why I'm there. So the increase has been helpful and yeah, definitely sure. it would decrease the anxiety yeah. level, but still let's find out what and causes working it. Working on harder things in therapy increases yeah. the risk too. So like, if you're doing the EMDR, yes. No, I'm not, thank God. <laughs> okay. And how about depressive symptoms? Do you feel like it's currently a problem, an issue? I don't know, maybe. Maybe? Like feeling sad? That one, if loneliness yeah. has no medications, but yeah, if right. there is no sadness, no I crying mean, spells. No, never. Okay. But, so, but that's true. Like mm-hmm. across the board, I've never had crying spells. Like I go numb. Yeah. Depression. Okay. So I mean, in depression, isn't that a big deal? But yeah. there is good news here, though. For but before we come to the report, actually, how has your sleep and appetite been since sleep, we increased arrow to thirty? Less, but it's always fun. So your sleep is not that great. My sleep's never been great. Never um, been great. It's better when I take the melatonin. Okay. Why don't you take it every other day? Well, because I forgot to buy some while I was away. Okay. And then I go to TJ Maxx and I'm like, oh, yeah, but that's the wrong one. Oh, uh, yeah. They've got two. So, if, yeah, so, if you want to take the melatonin, take it every other day if you want to be consistent. Every uh, other day. Every other not day. Every day. Not every day. You that your body really well. your body produces melatonin too. Right. So if you take it every day, you shut your production down. Oh, interesting. So take it every other day, and okay. then allow your body to do the work the next yeah. day, and then you take the pill the other day. Okay. Um, in yeah. that don't take it every day. It doesn't. Okay. It stops working oh, when you take it every day. Okay. For some point, it's like it's no longer working. Yeah, because yeah. you shut yours down too. Okay. So, um. Take the melatonin, and how about your appetite? You feel like it's fine, regular? Okay. All right, so let's move on to your test results, which is your executive functioning, your current executive yeah. functioning. I'm really happy to see these results. Okay. Um, so your activation is grouped into six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six groups, yeah. So activation. 
which includes your organization, prioritization, and all mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. you scored a 51, surprisingly. So the highest, the grade stuff from 70 and above means significant problem. Okay. Um, 60, between 60, 69 is moderate problem. Yeah. And then 50, 55 to 59 is kind of somewhat a problem. Mm -hmm. So you scored a 51 at activation, which is organizing, prioritizing, and focusing, kind of doing work. Yeah. When it comes to your focus, Focusing and sustaining attention or shifting attention from one task yeah. to the other, you scored the lowest, which is 49. Oh, so good. meaning your focus and attention is good. Okay. Yeah. That's so interesting. that's interesting. I don't isn't? feel like it's right. <laughs> Maybe you but set also, like, higher goals I for yourself. I'm too. So like, that is it. Knowing what hyperfocus is like, mm -hmm. I feel like regular. Yeah. So your focus on attention or sustaining that attention, because if you hyper-focus, hyper yeah, so it's sustained right. and fixed data yeah. until you are done. So that That's is right. why you scored a 49, which that is the sense. lowest and is great, in my opinion. And then your efforts kind of regulating your alertness if you're doing something. And if you hyper-focus, you scored a 53 as well, which is also somewhat a problem, but not a big deal. Yeah. Um, your emotions, how do you manage frustrations? You scored a 51, which is also somewhat a problem. Right. Not really a big deal. Yeah, so yeah, pretty good. Pretty it good. has to be when you teach this course. Exactly. Yep. Because, you mm -hmm. know, you look at Google Street Scores and you're like, I can lose my score. You can lose and it. And you're like, all right, friends, <laughs> friends, I am starting to feel frustrated because of X, Y, and Z. Yes. I need us all to work on Perfect. And it's fine. Because, yeah. Because, like, they know if I say I'm frustrated, I mean it. You mean it. Yep. So and then you are assertive. It's like, this is what I need. And I've been telling my nurse practitioner students, um, those I teach, and I'm yeah. like, learn to be assertive. You have to. Build no that boundary. You're working with. Let, be clear yes. Yes. Your, of your expectations. Yes. And it helps. It's actually. essential for all humans. Like, if other people know what it is that you want or need, mm -hmm. then they can help you get it. Exactly. So your how to manage your frustrations, I think you're doing a great job there too. It's got a 51, which is not a big deal. Yeah. Um, memory, recalling and or accessing information, yeah. you scored a 51, which yeah. is also somewhat. So you are doing well. Yeah. Action, monitoring and self-regulating your emotions and or self-regulating your actions. Mm -hmm. You scored a 54, which Happen to be the highest score, although still somewhat a problem, but not a yeah. big deal. Yeah. And your overall is 52. So, yeah. you're, meaning your medication is working yeah. great, yes. correct? Yes. For sure. Yes. yes, so I agree with that because this executive functioning test actually also helps me to evaluate the effectiveness of Absolutely. the current medication. Right. So if you come and cry and I want more, I don't, I'll be like, girl, no. I don't know more, I don't. <laughs> in, in a year, probably, I will. You know, because that's sort of what our practice looks like. Yeah. Is it? Most of the time, you can get to a therapeutic level and stay there for years. God willing. Yeah. So <laughs> since that. at a 30, probably we may not have to increase it. You may stay there for right. years and right. it will still do the same thing. But I would recommend you skip some days. I do. Yes. For sure. How many days do you skip in a week? At least one. Maybe. That's not bad. Yeah. Two would be great because sometimes if you're I, not... Sometimes I forget. Okay. Like legitimately forget. Okay. I always skip it on Saturdays. Exactly, yes. So on the days that you don't feel like you're busy and all that, skip it. Yeah. The goal is that we don't want your system to be dependent right, on it. Exactly. And so there's been like, you know, a stretch since I've been home mm -hmm. where I'm just like, hmm, it's yeah. actually nothing that really requires yeah. my best focus today. I don't need to take it. Exactly, yes. So I don't. Yeah. So when it comes to the side effects from your current medications, I think um, your appetite is regular, fine, yeah. so no problem there. Yeah. But your sleep, you said, has been a consistent issue. It's always Even before you started issue. the arrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Nothing has changed. Okay. So Except when I take melatonin, and then I'm like, oh, wait, this is okay. <laughs> okay. So sleep 
has been the same, but take melatonin to solve that. Yeah. Um, and then when it comes to, um, what do you call it? Diversion giving the medication to other people or sharing with your husband is a no-no oh God, no. <laughs> or sharing with other that, people yeah, no. No. using it more than you need yeah. we are supposed to also talk about it to make sure or remind you that you don't sell the arrow you don't also you don't misuse do oh yeah you don't misuse it well, that's mine I am supposed to actually do urine draw screen at least every three months, every six months, but I don't. What I do is I count the pills. Right. And how do I count it? I'm not in your home. Right. I double check from right. when you did you pick you it? Then... When did you pick it from the pharmacy? I get the information from here. The pharmacy can also notify me you were there right. to pick it 10 days earlier. Right. Then I'll be like, okay. Last night, someone sent me a message and said, can you send my Adderall earlier? I'm like, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you picked well, it. So one thing that was interesting was like, while I was gone, I was like, I just didn't want to stay on it. I just wanted to get to the pharmacy. And I was like, I feel less funny. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go to the pharmacy with me. Yeah. That's smart. That'll and be fine. Yeah. You know, like, there were days when, when I was in restaurant theater that were funny. It was yeah. Not the best, but yeah. also like I knew what we were going to be doing that day, and I knew that I didn't need to take notes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, so that helped. I definitely least. made sure I had thirties for the driving home. Like, <laughs> yes, I was taking out all while I was driving across the country. Uh huh. <laughs> you better believe it. And that's great. But that... then when I stopped to see my set mom, mm -hmm. I didn't take one that day because like she was writing me. Yeah. Great. Right. And... Yeah. So I did a pill count. And right. I said, hell no, I'm not sending you any early script because you picked it just 15 days ago. And you know what? It's even for her kid who is 10 years old. What? So does that mean so, you're taking it with your do your right. son? Yeah. Or well, why yeah, do you need not... a refill 15 no. days away? No. And I said, hell no, girl. Right. The right. pharmacy will not even give it to you. And I'm not going to give right. them a note to give it to you earlier. Right. There's no, and school has even closed. So your right. son is not even using it every day. So shouldn't be using it every day. He's not in school. Yeah. Oh, so that's so I count it and have to make sure that no one is getting more of than course. they need. And the right. pharmacists are also on top of it because we don't want the stimulants no. to be on the street. No. Yeah. We don't. We really don't. Yeah. Like, that's scary. There are people who really need it, right. and there are others who just want to mess up with it. That's so scary. it makes our work difficult. Yeah. But, I bet. Yeah. I'm really grateful for it. I'm like, I didn't know my brain worked like this. Yeah. <laughs> Until you started like, the arrow. That's really interesting. Like, yeah. I can go from my bedroom to the kitchen to do something and then go down to the basement to get, like, sheets in the dryer and come back upstairs, you know, like, grab my cup of coffee and then go all the way back upstairs and make the bed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Like, that didn't used to happen. Yeah. The sheets might make it to the first floor of the house, <laughs> but they certainly wouldn't make it onto the bed right. until the end of the day, maybe. Maybe, yeah. And then they'd have to make it on So the you are really doing well on your current dosages? Yeah. And, yeah, so um, pick it up. My GP wanted to know if you wanted to take over his private medallion. Oh, sure, if she wants me to take over. She was over. like, I'd be happy not to. I know. The primary care providers don't yeah. like handling mental health medications. No. And she I've been happy to because it was prescribed initially by my GP who I've been seeing yeah. since I was tiny. And then I had this psychiatrist I was working in high school. And so she was like, listen, you have a decent track record with this. That's fine. Yeah. You are not misusing it or anything. However, you know, I told you. First I time we met, it. I that I really don't like giving it out to patients. Why? Because I get emails every day. Some people asking, can you take me off the stupid medication the stupid psychiatry, psychiatrist placed me on years ago? Why? Because their body has become dependent on right. it. They right. can't stop. They can't right. go up. They can So it's crazy. Yeah, so sure. why would I put someone on such a medication? Right. That in the future, exactly. they will be fighting to stop. Right. 
But if you have someone who normally would take maybe once a week, fine. Yeah. But I will not give you 30 though. I will give you maybe 10, 15 right. for a month, which is also oh, yeah. the I sum. Think that you in the past made a 30, a script for 30. Yes. And then that usually lasts me three to six, nine months. I actually sent like, a script for you in May. Yeah, I don't need any right now. Right. But if, like with my GP, can we see, like, sign something? I don't know if you need the same. Sign release or... So, I don't know what it is. It's a contract that you are not yeah. going to misuse the yeah. control medications yeah. and you are not going to abuse them. Right. Um, it's That's something exactly that I right. have to start doing, okay. but I talk about it in an appointment every time yeah. too. Right. Um, but maybe a document, someone can sign and still sell anyway. But those are yeah, all kind right. of yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. So, that's what so giving you thirty for three months, yes, is something that I can do. Right. But wouldn't want you to take. The, um, the volume or diazepam every day. No, that no, one, no. nope, I no, don't do that. I, there so, was a time in my life that that was necessary. I knew that was not for me. It's not anymore because currently you have been taking the arrow, has come to add to it and it's helping right, a lot. Exactly. So, um, yeah. Yeah, like there was a time when I was taking, when I was taking Tocin that I would take a milligram in the morning, a milligram midday. Yeah. As a nurse, and yeah. then two at night. Yeah. And so you like, seem to be doing much better. I'm glad better. I got off that. Yeah. Because it's not. that was not great. The Valium actually is much better. It does help with sleep for some people mostly. I so. don't notice help with sleep. It doesn't? But it takes the edge off, mm. and I feel like me. Okay. Whereas with the Clonopin, I Didn't like, know. there was a nice fuzzy blanket in my brain. I liked it. Yes. But... When my oral surgeon prescribed Valium, he prescribed a lot. Cause, well, so here's the thing: I was freaked out mm -hmm. about getting oh, yeah. my wisdom teeth out, and he was like, "You're gonna take some at night, and yeah. you're gonna take some in the morning, before. and then you're gonna take some right before you come in." Yeah. And he couldn't get an IV on me mm -hmm. except in my hand, and so yeah. he did it with me awake. Okay. And she was not thrilled about it. Yeah. Because he doesn't do that. I normally prescribe people. Adivan or those Adivan is mostly what I do if they have dentist appointment yeah. and I freaking out I just give it to them maybe two tablets. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, I and think then... I took forty milligrams of Valium. Mm -hmm. Twice because so he couldn't well, get the IV, so we had to reschedule. Yes. So that one I do. I'm not too stingy, but is it needed? Yes, I would do it. I right. give it to people to travel, especially if they're right. um oh yeah they freak out flying. Yeah. I'm like, right. oh take some Adivan. If you are not if you're walking alone, it's difficult because you may be too sleepy, drowsy. But if you are with someone, you can take some Adivan yeah. and fly. Yeah. And I can do that I too. Like about the Valium, so yeah. It takes the edge off, but I don't have any like noticeable sedation. Yeah. Okay. So it's you're doing okay. Yeah. Um there's no need changing anything. Um, we will still continue your current doses, which is the Adderall 30 milligrams, yeah. the Celexa. Now you say you are splitting, but whatever you want to do, I would yeah. agree if you keep the 15 to see if it's still doing what it's supposed to do, then you don't need a 30. Right. We can come back down to 15. Yeah, like that's almost winter. Okay, yeah. So, like, You're right. maybe, maybe we should wait. Yeah. I'm um, going down to 15 until, like, I was the still sun keep, comes back. I'll still keep the 30 on okay, on, on file. And then the diazepam, if your primary care provider wants me to take it over, sure, yeah, I'm more sure than happy okay. um, to. Um, and then the propranol, I will just continue it. All right. Like yes. So since we are not changing anything and there isn't any big deal, your executive functioning is great, I would actually not see you until three months. Do you want me to schedule it now for I am you? Notorious for, um, <laughs> Forgetting. Well, the system sends me text, and I'm like, no, I don't think it's time yet. Yeah, mostly it's actually my fault it's because okay. mostly your insurance wants me to right. put a date down. Yeah. So the moment time. I put maybe in two months, three months, I just make a rough three months, yeah. not a Z. So if you schedule earlier. 
they said that I did was still continue to remind you, right. even though you it's have fine. already scared of, which is I just, annoying. I just ignore the fact. Mind you, it's still the fact. Please do. Like, oh, I should maybe schedule that. I wish I can do it in a different way to not upset people. So November. September, October. So November. What day, what time do you feel like? Um, I can do early morning or I can do So, it said, and let's see, Tuesday the 21st. Um, uh, I have therapy on Okay, so <laughs> if it's a Wednesday, yeah. I start from 9 to one thirty on Wednesdays. So, Wednesday the 22nd. What? Wait, I don't have school on the 22nd. Okay, so does That's that work? Exciting. Does that work for you? Yeah, that works real well. So, <laughs> so did you say at noon or morning? Yeah, sure, noon's fine. Morning, 9 a.m. is also open. Yeah, okay. All right. No, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, same. I'm like... So, noon, 12 noon? Uh, let's oh, do earlier. Nine o'clock. the day before Thanksgiving. You've got cooking to eat, don't I? I know. So, 9 a.m. <laughs> then? Yeah, sure. 9 a.m. on the 22nd, which is yeah. a Wednesday. All right. So you get the test not notification and it's not going to remind you, as, especially if you do it this way. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to put the date. Um, so that will be great. You get a text. Um, yes. Any... My insurance. Oh, can you take a photo yeah, front and back yeah. of the card mm -hmm. and 